Today I'm going to do a deep dive into the story of LAP, but not just any LAP, mind you. It's that famous LAP that's uniquely local to northern Thailand, LAP Muang. But what exactly is LAP Muang? And how is it different from regular LAP? Most importantly, how do we make it? Let's dig in on this episode of Edible Story Thailand. Chiang Mai, a beautiful city surrounded by towering forested mountains in the heart of northern Thailand. It's that charming place that welcomes visitors from around Thailand and every corner of the world with open arms. Chiang Mai is famous for its rich history and craftsmanship with woodworkers, silversmiths, and the unique cultural identity from the 800-year-old Lana Kingdom with their beautiful traditional dances, arts, and stunning temple architecture, all of which are still present today. And of course, another great reason for visiting and living in Chiang Mai is for the food. When speaking of the food culture here in the north, every meal is an opportunity to get together and learn about delicious local dishes. Northern Thai food is a herbaceous riot because there are so many different types of herbs and spices that make the dishes bold, unique, and rich. Plus, of course, popular dishes like khao soy, sai ua, spicy noodles, chili paste, and the one dish you can't leave out, of course, lap. Now, lap is a dish that's made with minced meat seasoned with fresh herbs and spices. You can find this dish all across Chiang Mai province, and there's probably dozens of variations of lap that use different recipes, different local ingredients. Now, throughout the community here in Chiang Mai, pitong is known as a salat lap. And that can only mean one thing, pitong is an undisputed expert masterclass guru at making lap muang. Okay, we are here at the morning market in Chiang Mai, the Talat Patu Chiang Mai, which is right on the edge of the old town. I'm with the lap guru, Pitong, who is gonna show me all of the ingredients we need to make lap, but not just any lap, northern lap, lap muang. So, Pitong, krap. เราต้องไปซื้ออะไรบ้างที่ทําราบเมืองครับต้องมีเครื่องเทศก่อนครับคุณแพทย์แล้วก็ไปซื้อเนื้อมีซูนผสมของเครื่องเทศกี่ชน
So buffaloes were available in the traditional lap mueang. Buffalo was the main meat available. That was the main meat used. Lap mueang, yeah. Not just meat, but there also have some other parts like pig lap. Starting from this one. Starting from this one. Let me dry chilies. This is mukwen. Szechuan pepper. Obviously, we know that shallots, universal favorite. This is deep fried long pepper. Then this. This is a kind of rum, right? And the last one. This is what? Capri. 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 Ubiquitous shrimp paste. We've sampled all the ingredients. We've got a full Thai herbal garden ready to go in this prick lap, which is obviously the the, the foundation of the lap. Now, Canton top Ah, this is a cook. Why do you have to cook it? If it's warm, cook it and let it cook. Okay, our mix of 10 herbs and spices have been roasted, and now we pound. Let's start with this. Let's start with this. เดี๋ยวผมสงสัยเรื่องหนึ่งครับพี่ต๋องไม่ได้ถามคำว่าลาบคำว่าอะไรลาบในภาษาไทยเนี่ยแปลตรงตัวคือลาบก็คือเอามาสับให้ละเอียดจากเนื้อสัตว์ที่มันเหนียวเนียวเนี่ยให้มันกินง่ายๆเขาเรียกว่าลาบลาบอีกอย่างที่มันเป็นอาหารที่มันดูมงคลเพราะมันท้องกับคำว่าโชคลาบโชคดีโชคลาบกินแล้วรู้สึกดีกะปิใส่ไปแล้วได้แล้วได้แล้ว flavorful spicy herbal goodness look at that this is step one in lap muang the essential ingredients all the herbal goodness and chilies in lap muang I know this is prick lap we call it prick lap There's a herbal garden riot happening in my mouth right now. We have to go. Lap, lap. Now. Pi Tong, we will start with the beginning. Let's see if there are any ingredients that we need. Yes, yes. Are there any ingredients? This is the herbal garden riot. This is the herbal garden riot. This is the herbal garden riot. Salt. This is the salt. The salt. The seasoning. And the second one is what? The second one is not able to do it. This is the salt. This is good. What is the salt? It's the salt. The salt is the salt. This is the salt. This is the salt. The salt 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 is the salt. So this is a juice or a sauce that he calls salt. The salt is the salt. The salt is the salt. Mmm. That is a very strong. <laughs> oh man, that is strong. That is strong. This is it. You only live once. Oui. Oh. Wow. It's oily. It's kind of a mixture of like a cod liver oil with deeply salty aftertaste. It's. I wouldn't say I'd have it voluntarily, but whatever it was. It wasn't bad, but Pitong assures me that this is a real unique delicacy. It is the pre-digested juices trapped in the intestine of a water buffalo, consumed raw. I volunteered to do this. I volunteered to do this. You <laughs> promised me that it wouldn't be like this. That was really, wow. Okay, moving on to the buffalo meat and all the other offal involved. Let me and I bank up. Liver. Okay. So stomach lining, essentially tripe, three different levels, three different layers of tripe of the buffalo. Okay, นะครับพี่ต๋องต่อไปนี้เราก็ต้องไปทำอะไรกับเนื้อเนื้อควายครับตอนนี้ราบละ So the first step here is we slice the buffalo meat into thin pieces. This is fresh buffalo meat. Look at that knife too. นี่เป็นมีดพิเศษสำหรับการการทำราบมีดราบครับมีดมันต้องมีน้ำหนักในการราบหน่อยคนเหนือเมื่อก่อนเนี่ยเวลาไปทำอาหารก็ไปเวลาไปสวนก็เอานี้ไปไปฟันไม้ก็เอาใช้มีดนี่แหละอันนี้ผสมว้าวพวกนี้ไม่ธรรมดาเลยที่ทำให้มันง่ายไม่ใช่ว่าฉันทำได้ดีแต่ไม่ใช่ฉันไม่ใช่ฉันไม่ใช่ฉันทำได้ดีและเทคนิคพี่ตองได้เพิ่มนิดหนึ่งของน้ำตาลลงบนผิวของสัตว์ที่มี
Mixing that in, it adds a little bit of saltiness, a little bit of depth, a little bit of texture. Again, this goes back to utilizing as much of the buffalo as possible. Okay, no <laughs> I need a break here. I have to ask, Lap Muang is a distinctively Chiang Mai, distinctively northern dish. What do you think about this dish and how important is it for you and your restaurant? For me, the menu is from when I was a kid. It's a way to eat the food of the people of the world. It's a way to eat the food of the people of the world. It's a way to eat the food of the people of the world. It's a way to eat the food of the people of the world. ทำกับข้าวแสดงถึงความเป็นวัฒนธรรมได้อย่างเป็นเอกลักษณ์เลยมันควรจะเริ่มมีการถ่ายทอดแล้วแหละให้มันไม่หายไปนะครับผมขอเป็นคนเริ่มต้นในการที่จะนําเสนอเรื่องนี้ก่อนแล้วกันในอนาคตอาจจะมีคนที่ทําอย่างผมเนี่ยได้อีกเยอะมากแต่ถามว่าภูมิใจไหมที่เป็นคนที่นําเสนอเนี่ยก็ภูมิใจมากครับ first time in my life I've had the original lap mueang raw like this wow อืมอืม Herbal, spicy. I was expecting to taste a raw meat type flavor, but this is full of chilies, and full of herbs, and full of natural tastes and all the things that I can't really identify because I don't think I've ever had these kinds of tastes before, but delicious. Now, if you order lap muang in a restaurant in Northern Thailand, they'll usually have a couple of different types because these days people are a little more sensitive about having raw meat like this. So there's also a version of lap muang that's been cooked. And we're going to take this to cook it. Make it soft. We're going to taste the cooked version. Lap Muang. There we go. All right, here we are. Lap Muang, the cooked version, or Lap Hua, as it would be called. Mmm. That is so rich and bold and flavorful. Earthy, smoky. I feel like the cooked version brings out the aromatics and the spices and the flavors more deeply. This is so bold. Somehow I expected this to taste like typical lap that we had in restaurants, but it is. Wow. <laughs> Lap Muang is that uniquely northern, distinctively Chiang Mai version of lap that is just power packed with bold, earthy flavors. Somehow I expected Lap Muang to taste similar to the other lap, Lap Isan, that we find in other parts of Thailand. It's completely different. Boy, was I wrong. This is a whole nother level of wild, herbaceous, rich taste that is so distinctive of the north. And this is what makes me appreciate the regionality of Thai food. How it's so distinct from one part of the country to the next. A little bit like living in, say, Italy, where nobody would say, tonight we're having Italian food. You'd be having Sicilian or Tuscan or Roman or, or Puglia, for example. Well, Thailand's much the same way. We have a dish like lap. When we come to the north, it's so uniquely different. It reflects the local environment, local herbs and spices that are put into the dish. And in the case of lap muang, it's the use of buffalo as the primary meat. And all of the buffalo is used. This is the original sustainable cuisine. And the result? It's a whole nother level of wild, herbaceous, rich taste, distinctive of Chiang Mai in Northern Thailand. Now I've been traveling around Thailand for 20 years. I've been lucky enough to be eating around Thailand for 20 years. But learning about the different types of dishes like Lap Muang here, makes me realize this is just the beginning of a whole new culinary discovery. This is the edible story, Thailand.